As a retail store owner or shop operator, your goal is clear. Find unique, high quality items that stand out of the competition so your clients cannot find them elsewhere. But let's face it, finding suppliers who can provide original and artisanal items in this world of mass production can be a real challenge. Now picture this, you are a tourist wandering around a bustling street of an unfamiliar city, browsing multiple retail shops in a search of the perfect memento. You want something that stands out, something more than just another free magnet or t-shirt. But after visiting five or six shops, everything starts to look the same, the same products, the same design and little to no uniqueness. So now on the flip side, imagine you are that shop owner who is truly seeking to provide to your customer base something special that stands out of the competition. It's not easy to find reliable suppliers. You want unique items that set your store apart and keep your customers coming back for more. But in a world filled with mass products goods, how do you find suppliers that offer originality and quality, especially at reasonable prices. And this is where Vietnam enters as a one in a kind and gold mine to source artisanal and unique products. In this video, we're going to share with you how to find such golden supplier, why Vietnam should be your top destination for sourcing strategy, as well as how you can personalize and customize all the goods so they are unique and original for your shop. Before we get into the topic of this video, we are moved to Asia, your go-to sourcing partner in Asia. We can help you to find the right supplier, do due diligence on your behalf, organizing factory tour, following up with the entire production process with quality control. We also have a warehouse for logistics assistance. Basically, we can act as your grounded team in Vietnam to take care of the entire scope of your production need. First, let's start by the overview. What are the main challenges that retail shop owner face when they want to source products for the store? Finding unique or original Items for your store can be a tough task, especially when many products today come from large-scale manufacturers that prioritize quantity over quality. Countries like China and India dominate the global manufacturing scene, but their focus is often on mass production, leaving light room for unique and artisanal creations. However, sourcing from other destinations such as Vietnam offers several distinct advantages for shop owners. One of the key benefits is the diversity of products available, ranging from magnets and t-shirts to more specialized items like ceramics, woodcraft, and textiles. This variety allows to offer a broad selection of souvenirs, gifts, or items in a retail shop that can cater to different customers' preferences. Another advantage is the low minimum quantity, also called MOQ, which comes with flexible options for personalizations. Whether you want custom designs for magnets, t-shirts, or engraved gifts, Vietnamese suppliers are known for accommodating with small orders while maintaining high-quality craftsmanship. This makes it easier for small stores to offer personalized, exclusive products without the need to purchase large inventories. Uniqueness is key in standing out in today's competitive market, and Vietnam's artisans specialize in creating one in a kind items that reflect their rich cultural heritage. So as a shop owner, you have different ways for the purchasing and the inventory of your stock. You may want to go to different channels depending on the scale that you are currently in and also the strategies that you want to implement. The first way is directly to work with wholesalers in your neighboring area. Basically, you can buy already made items that have been imported directly in your home country and trade them directly. The pros is that it's convenient, fast delivery, and you don't have any customs hassles. The cons is that you have limited product variety, higher prices, and less room for personalization. Now, the second channel that you can use is directly to work with an importer. Basically, you can work with a partner that will take care of sourcing your products and then importing it, and then you will directly buy the product that has been imported in your country. Obviously, the pros is that you don't have to go through all the hassle of the customs and the sourcing, but you will only rely on one source and one importer. So if this one is familiar, for instance, sourcing in China, he will mostly offer you a wide range of products that will only be unique for China. Some importers also have diversification in terms of their sourcing. So by working with them, they will take care of all the quality control and import duties, and you can directly buy from them to trade. 
So in wrap-up, the pros are that importers can handle all the sourcing and logistics, making the process easier. And the cons are that there is limited personalization options and also potentially higher costs due to the fact that they are middlemen. Now, the final option that you are having is to source products by yourself. Basically, you will have to go to Asia or to other manufacturing nations and then you can directly try to go to the source and to work directly with manufacturers or small artisans. By going there, obviously, you have a more control on the production aspects, all the product development and customization that you can do directly in the manufacturing country. The cons is that you will basically take care of the entire sourcing, quality control, final inspection, and also import to your home country. So there is the entire scope that you have to get ready. Either you can do it by yourself or have a partner that can help you to take care of some of those parts for you. So in a wrap up, with this option, you have a full control over product selection and customization and an ability to work directly with manufacturers for a lower cost. The cons is that more effort are required. You need to deal directly with shipping, custom and import regulations. So if you are considering the option three, what are some of the key markets that you can explore in terms of sourcing and product development? It's going to really depend on the range and categories of the product that you'd like to source. But as some example, for textile, you can consider Bangladesh, China or Vietnam. For wooden products, you can consider India, Vietnam or China. For small decorative items, you can consider Thailand, Vietnam or China. For wood driving, you can consider India, China, and Vietnam. And for eco-friendly items and handmade goods, you can consider Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Each option has its own trade-off, but sourcing directly in countries like Vietnam will offer you affordability in terms of price, product variety, as well as the full control to develop and to design new products. So why Vietnam stands out as a destination for sourcing if you are looking to artisanal and handmade products. With its rich history and strong focus on craftsmanship, it has become a leading destination for businesses seeking for unique and handmade products. The country's handicraft export totaled approximately 3.5 billion of dollars in 2023, and these figures continues to grow. This is a clear indicator that the global demand for Vietnamese artisanal goods is on rise. Vietnam is also known for its cultural heritage and artisanal skills with over 1.5 thousand craft villages scattered across the country. There's artisan villages specialize in everything from ceramics to textile, offering a wide variety of unique products that reflect Vietnam traditions. Artisans in these villages often use techniques passed down through generations, ensuring a level of quality and craftsmanship that is hard to find in mass produced goods. Another reason why Vietnam stands out is his affordability. You can source high quality handmade goods at a competitive prices, which can be a key advantage for businesses looking to offer premium products without inflating their costs. For example, according to World Bank report, Vietnam average manufacturing labor cost is 50% lower than China's, making it a cost effective sourcing destination. Finally, Vietnamese suppliers offer customization options even at a low minimum order quantities, making it easier for small businesses to compete in a crowded market. Whether you are looking for personalized souvenir or eco-friendly options, Vietnam's artisan can tailor their products to your exact needs, allowing you to offer something truly unique. So you understand why Vietnam is a destination that is standing out compared to other countries in the region. What about some of the craftsmanship and artisanal work that has been passed through generation and that is really inside some of the cultural knowledge and know-how of Vietnamese artisans? Let's take Bac Chang as an example. This village is located near Hanoi and is famous for ceramic art. For over 700 years, families in Bac Chang have been mastering the craft of pottery, creating unique vases, bowls and decorative pieces. Each item reflects an history of tradition and meticulous craftsmanship. In central Vietnam, we have Hoi An that is well known for its tailor who creates beautiful custom-made garments. But beyond clothing, the town is also a hub for lanterns making, a craft that has been practiced for centuries. These lanterns with their vibrant colors and traditional design are one of the unique items that you can source 
from Vietnam. And let's not forget the ethnic minority groups in Northern Ireland who are specialized in intricate weaving techniques and textile arts. These artisans create vibrant fabrics and patterns using methods that have been fast drawn for centuries, offering something truly different from what you can find in mainstream markets. By sourcing from these artisan villages, you are not only getting high quality products, but also supporting local communities and helping to preserve their cultural heritage. So now that you have an understanding about how those crafted villages are spread across Vietnam, let's go more into some of the products that you can really look in Vietnam, how you can find them in a different geography of the country. So let's take a closer look at some of the key categories that you can source. First, you have the waving art, and it's mostly from ethnic minority groups in Northern region, like the Hmong and Thai are renowned for their vibrant woven textiles. Villages in areas such as Sapa and Mai Cho are known for producing intricacy woven fabrics, including clothing, bags, and home decor items. In central Vietnam, the Sham people, particularly in Ninh Truyen province, are also famous for their beautiful handwoven textile, adding more diversity to the waving art in Vietnam. Second product category, we have the ceramic art, and the village that I mentioned earlier in Bat Trang is the must-go destination if you look for high-quality ceramics. These artisans create everything from traditional pottery to modern designs, offering unique pieces for home and offices. In the south, Bien Hoa, located in Dong Nai province, is another center for ceramic production, known for more contemporary styles of pottery and home decor. Both areas are ideal for sourcing distinctive and handicraft ceramics. Third product category, we have everything around textile, and Vietnam's textile industry is celebrated for its exceptional quality and craftsmanship. In Van Phuc village, located near Hanoi, artisans specialize in waving skill scarves and garments. Additionally, in regions such as Hoi An, you can find hand embroidered pieces that are made with meticulous care, providing a one-in-a-kind addition to any store's offering. In the south, Tan Cho in Hanyang province is known for its silk production using traditional dyeing techniques. Furthermore, in Dong Tap province, villages such as Long Hang A are gained recognition for producing handwoven textile made from locally sourced materials, including lotus silk. The unique process of waving lotus fibers into fine textile, particularly in Dong Tap Sadek region, has become the symbol of sustainable craftsmanship, offering eco-friendly luxurious fabrics that appeal to environmentally conscious consumers. Fourth item ID, we have the wood sculpting and in Donkey village located in Bac Ninh province, artisans are known for their intricate wood carving. They produce beautiful furniture and decorative items that combine craftsmanship with durability. And in central Vietnam, we have the city of Hue that is well known for its imperial woodwork and lacquered wood sculptures, which reflect with the region's royal heritage. Fifth product ID, we have everything around green living. And with the global trend towards sustainability, Vietnam is a leader into producing eco-friendly products from bamboo, kitchenware to reusable shopping bags. Artisans in areas such as Tang Hoa and Phu Tho focus on crafting sustainable items that are both practical and aesthetically pleased. In the south, in Benche area, this is a leading producer for coconut base, including coconut balls, cutlery, and stencil that align with the growing demand for green living solutions. Six item ID, we have gift related items from eco-friendly gifts, such as coconut shell jewelry from Benche region, or woven grass handbag and recycled paper home decor from artisan villages in Hanoi all quarter, all those sustainable gifts can be perfect for a souvenir or gift shop. In southern Vietnam, in the Mekong Delta region, it's also known for all the handmade gifts that are made from local materials such as water icing, rattan, and bamboo. Finally, seventh product ID is about the lacquerware, and Vietnam is famous with workshops in Ha Thai village around Hanoi or Phu Vinh village in Hanoi outskirts specialized in this craft. In southern Vietnam, in Binh Nhung province, is another prominent area for lacquerware production, known for its quality and artistic pieces. So now you have a better understanding about what are some of the product categories for original items sourced from Vietnam.
what are the steps that you can take and you can request if you are looking for unique tailored product that will be fully customized. And here are some of the popular personalization methods that you can explore. First is about the packaging and customizing. Packaging is a powerful way to add a personalized touch to your product. You can work with Vietnam suppliers to create eco-friendly branded packaging using materials like recyclable papers or bamboo. This adds a value to your customer experience and reinforces your brand's identity. The second personalized method is about embroidery. And embroidery is a traditional method in Vietnam that adds a premium touch to various items. Whether it's for custom logo intricate patterns, embroidery can be applied to a wide range of products including clothing, towel, cushions, bags and home textile like table, runners or bed linen and the level of detail of craftsmanship in vietnam in embroidery makes this product stand out in any store the third idea to personalize a product is about printing and having custom printing is an easy and affordable way to create unique designs to your product whether you are personalizing t-shirts canvas bags ceramics or even Stationary Vietnamese suppliers offer high quality printing options. Printing methods can range from screen printing for bold, colorful design to digital printing, intricate or detailed hard work. Fourth customization ID is engraving and engraving is a versatile and high precision methods for personalization that can be applied to a wide range of materials, adding a unique and long lasting touch to your products. There are several engraving techniques that you can explore. The first one is laser engraving that can be applied in materials such as wood, glass, metal, acrylic, and even leather. This is ideal for gifts, home decor, kitchenware, and keepsakes such as jewelry, custom plaques, or personalized drinkware. Laser engraving provides a clean, refined finish and can produce intricate design, making it a popular choice for creating details and professional looking products. The second engraving technique is using a rotative tool to create carving design specialized for metal, stone, and wood. Finally, another method used is etching that involves using chemical or laser to remove a thin layer of materials to create design. It's popular for glasses, to personalize drinkware, mirrors or decorative glass items. So now I hope you have a clear picture about what are the type of products that can be sourced in Vietnam and how can you personalize them to really have unique and outstanding item. How should you proceed if you want to look and find suitable suppliers for your product category? There are several ways that you can implement, but let me go through some more shortcuts to make sure that you can directly engage and meet suitable suppliers for your business. The first year is to come directly to Vietnam to fly over to really engage and to meet potential suppliers. You can be attending in the fair such as the lifestyle fair that we are attending today with my team. Basically, you can meet with several different suppliers, ask for catalogs, ask for references, and also get some idea of the pricing. It's a very good way to break the ice and to engage directly with key potential suppliers in Vietnam. The second way is to organize a trip and because those suppliers will be located in, in artisan villages, it's also good to directly go to those villages with either a translator or a team who can accompany you and to engage discussions directly with key artisans. It won't be that easy just with the language barrier and the transportation to commute from one place to one place, but it's good to also go directly there to see all the ancestral art and how they do things by hand. Another channel, if you cannot fly to Vietnam, is to go online. You may have seen this video by doing a Google search. You can do the same to find potential suppliers. You can send them inquiries, ask them for the catalog. Just know that not all the Vietnamese suppliers are having e catalogs so they may not be able to really provide you catalogs, what they do, and some prices. So using a third party like contacting a sourcing agent in Vietnam can help you to get a first understanding about the market and start to get the know-how about how you can approach your sourcing in Vietnam. If you need any help, any assistance from us, we found below in the description more details about our products and services. If you enjoy our video, leave a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.
down and I'ma get it right. Get on sight like. 